Have you got your Osmo in your pocket? No, I'm just pleased to see you. <laughs> uh, what a strange thing to think. <laughs> I'm sweating like a three day old cheese that's been left in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my beer? Hey everyone. We're heading to a port called Port Louis today. Lovely sunny day. Quite a few boats out here today, which is always nice to see. Started off a little bit cloudy and grey this morning, but now we are looking sunny and fine. Just got a boat right in front of us that seems to have changed course, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, we'll spend the next couple of days at Port Louis, checking it out, doing a bit of work. Excited, excited to be going somewhere new. That's better. My hair doesn't get in front of my eyes that way. Huh. Beautiful day. Got a little bit of a sailing breeze and uh, some gorgeous blue skies. Sun's finally come out. We had a bit of a grey start to the day. And yeah, we're heading to Port Louis, which is uh, in the Lorient, which is a major yachting centre here in South Brittany. And it's just a really lovely day to be out on the water. Nice little short sail, only 18 miles. So that is, uh, that's nice. We'll be in nice and early. Got a full main up, full jib out, sun's out. Nice, uh, nice day to be out. Unless the berth is like crazy big or it's alongside, I'm just going to go in those first. Alright. Yeah. Count me in, baby. We can't see a thing. One shower later, one shave for Nick later. One haircut later. One haircut? Oh yeah, you've got a haircut. Wow, a lot happened in those like 30 minutes. <laughs> I went from Teen Wolf to Teenager. <laughs> <laughs> we got in and Nick's like, right, <laughs> it's time. No, All yeah. the hair has to go. Yeah, well. Am I right? Right, right. I think you're right. Well, I, yeah. I, I imagine that'll be the last haircut on Ruby Rose. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange thing to think. <laughs> oh, anyway, here we are. Um, we're going to have a little walk around Port Louis. It's Port Louis, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, it looks really absolutely delightful from um, marina level. So we're going to go for a little walk, find somewhere that will sell us some beer. We're not alcoholics, I promise. I feel like we're always filming us going out for a beer. But I don't know, just like it's nice having a celebratory drink at the end of a long day as many of you will appreciate, I'm sure. We seem to have come across the circus just on our casual little walk from uh, the boat. Llamas and camels and goats and a tiny little pony that look very, very sad. And what does this uh, fine camel-like specimen do? <laughs> uh, 
And say, what's this lovely little wall you're sitting on? It's part of the fortifications. Yeah. But it's beautiful, absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, very beautiful. Do you want to go and find like a plaque that tells us what this fort is? I think is? you can walk all the way around and go up to the entrance. Alright. Hey. Check it out. The Road of Memory. After the 3945 war, Second World War, the family and friends of the resistance made a memory, uh, did the same to, to honour those who gave their lives for the liberty in combat. The Marie, the town hall of Port Louis, uh, was formed in October 1945 by Madame Le Corps de Lescoe, the mother of one of the 69 gunned down Dans la Charnier, which is somewhere around here. So basically they lined 69 resistance fights up against the wall and shot them. There you go. There you go. Gee, this is nice and unexpected. Did you know there was a beach here? I saw it coming in. Alright. That's kind of cool. Just like get your tan on next to like these ancient fortifications. Lovely. I am too shall. Local organic. Pilsner. Uh, Favor, could you just take the uh, main sheet off of it, please? There you go. Uh, pop it back on. Can you fly? Alright, well we've had a long day of uh, doing boat jobs. Nick's been doing the laundry as you can see from the sheet hanging up behind me. And I've been sat in front of the computer all day. Nick's been cleaning. It's been a bit of a long day. Productive day, but a bit of a long day. And now we are going to go out and do some fun stuff. We are going to go and check out the fort, which we saw coming in. And I believe it's actually a museum of some kind. So we're definitely going to go check that out. And then go for a little walk around this lovely little village and uh, suss that out as well. So I'm sure there'll be a beer at some point. So I'm excited to get off the boat and... Uh, have a little explore. What were you doing with the sailboat? Just now, literally two minutes ago. Yeah, let me just reboot. <laughs> uh, You're swearing at it, pulling things. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the there are at the bottom of the sail bag, there's zips where the reefing lines come through. Mm. Oh, I was just doing the zips up because we're not going to put the first and the third reef in for this season. What reefing line do we have in? Two. Ah, okay. But the bag doesn't sit perfectly straight. And it with those zips undone. And so it looks scrappy and it annoys me. Oh dear. You know me, it's gotta be like You know who's not looking scrappy today? Is it you? I was gonna say you, you're looking quite uh, put together. Christ, I feel like I you know, I'm sweating like a three day old cheese that's been left in the sun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? Just <laughs> mental image. Well you look you look alright. I don't smell alright. It's warm. It's well, nice. Let's go outside and what get temperature is it in the boat, babe? It's twenty-five degrees. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for you. I'm, I'm ready. I'm filming. done. I'm here. I'm. I'm ready. You're larking about. I'm ready. I'm ready. Larking about. No, hey, I'm not. I mean, larking. I definitely haven't been. I've been wo working, waiting for my, uh, waiting for my laptop. Alrighty, let's go. I've got my little bag. Have you got your mask? Mask, hand sanitizer in here. Uh. That's all I really need, sunglasses. Oh, get off. I'm happy just leaving your underpants out for everyone to see. Well, they're yours. I left yours on top. <laughs> I know, but the internet's not going to see mine. They can't see yours, though. Internet's going to see they're the mats. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually my nice ones. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you got your Osmo in your pocket? No, I'm just pleased to see you. <laughs> hey! I set you up really nicely. <laughs> is that a camera you've got in your pocket? <laughs> there is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. At the end of the 16th century, Governor of Brittany, member of the League of Catholic Women, opposed the King of France to fight Henry IV and Mercure, called Spanish troops for help. And in 1590, 10,000 men arrived in Blavet, formerly the city of St. Louis, uh, Port Louis. They built a fort, ensuring them a strong protection in case of retaliation, which is exactly why this looks like the fort in San Juan, because it's built by Spanish. Uh, and then in 1666, while London was on fire, French Company of East Indies is implemented in the Port Louis Harbour. Then until the end of the Second World War, it will be controlled by the Germans from 1940 to 1945. The citadel will be used for the defence of the harbour. Then it will be allocated to the surveillance of sea traffic. The last serviceman left here in 2007. I should become a guide. Yes, there's so much enthusiasm with that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> King Louis, King Henry, saying about the Spanish. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> His lovely fort. <laughs> Where's my beer? Christ, when you go out to try and save people in that. So that was an 1865 lifeboat. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. What are all these implements? The history of flares and flare guns. No. So look, there's a... That's an old very pistol. And well, then there's like these rockets. Like the big ones, they're kind of like... Sending up stress. Drogues haven't changed that much. Hmm. That's a drogue. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what are those um, outfits? These are lambs wool robes to give to um, people they pull out the water to try and warm them up. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful piece of, beautiful piece of kit. Mm. Navigate with that. I was literally about to say the same thing. <laughs> Imagine trying to cross an ocean on, with that. Did you want brochettes or did you want sausages for your dinner? That's it, you just got to decide, my love. Brochettes. Brochettes, so you got the sausages in the, in the fridge against the freezer plate, yeah? There wasn't much in the way of supermarkets in this village, so we had to cobble together a bit of a meal from different shops, which is cobble. actually... That's a bloody a, a bespoke Brittany butcher. It's actually cobble. a really nice... Cobble. It's actually a really nice way of, like, shopping. Why don't you go and turn that barbecue on? Off you go. So we bought some um, some stuff to put them on the barbecue for tonight. We bought some lovely um, butter, which I'm really excited to try. Actually, some local There's my little Dutch girl. local butter and lovely baguette. And we got some salad. And uh, yeah, just settling for for our evening. This doesn't look like cooking my dinner. What are you eating? Peanut crisps. I hate those things. They're crisps. They taste like peanuts. It's like living the dream. But they kind of taste like peanut butter. They're like peanut buttery, crispy. No, actually that sounds really good, but it doesn't taste good. Crisp, it tastes like peanut butter. Yeah, exactly. It sounds good. It sounds way better than it tastes. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, no, no. It's just on the phone to his mother. 
God, that is good. Mm, lovely. We got time on our side. We're gonna stay home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Radder saying of all the places we've ever sailed uh, anywhere, including all of Brittany, it's the one thing where your passage planning has got to be like bang on. Green polka dots ruin the general effect. <laughs> 